This Oklahoma State defense is a NASCAR package all hopped up on Mountain Dew. So all the darling picks to win the Big 12, you should probably just get real and get right real quick. By the end of the season, you're going to be left crying, standing in the rain all alone, Cat Williams style, saying, no, we wasn't ready. You are locked on Oklahoma State, your daily podcast on the Oklahoma State Cowboys, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Howdy, y'all, and hello, all. Welcome back to Locked On Oklahoma State, your daily stop for all things cowboy and cowgirl related. My name is Cody Stovall. I want to thank you kindly for stopping by to make this your first listen. We're available on all of your podcasting platforms, visually as well on YouTube. Find me personally on X at All Day O State. Today, we get to continue down the football path. And as we talk about football, I've noticed the Big 12 is not ready for this defense. We're not even really ready for this defense. Matter of fact, this is definitely, hands down, no questions asked, the most innovative and creative defense that has ever come through Stillwater, Oklahoma. Notice I didn't say it would be the best of all time. What I will say is the best, hands down, unequivocally, is Oklahoma State safety room. And the linebacker room is pretty impressive too. So impressive, in fact, that Nick Martin's got a little teeny injury he's dealing with, which has allowed Gabe Brown to do more. Donovan Stevens could even be somebody that could step up into the fold. Justin Wright is a savage. This defense is doing things that I've never seen before. I've, I haven't heard of this type of uh, defensive setup. And part of it is going to work to perfection because of guys like Obi Zegbo. Obi Ezegbo is the real deal. Obi Ezegbo is almost a mirror image of Colin Oliver's freshman year, but he's got a little bit more to him than meets the eye. He's got more to him than his film showed from Gannon. And thankfully, the Gannon product himself, Brian Nardo, is getting the most out of that. This safety room is hands down the best in the Big 12. So much so that the rotational capabilities are endless, which means this NASCAR package that you see oftentimes on third down in college football, in pro football, all across the the country. Could you imagine what it would be like to have a NASCAR package on the field every single play? The possibilities there are endless. Now, If you are going to try to attempt to pull off a NASCAR package style of system over and over and over and over, you got to have depth. We'll talk about that a little bit more. But more importantly, you got to have the talent and communication to make it happen. Last season, as we've heard from several players, there was a lot of new faces. There was a lot of change. There was a lot of verbal communication keys that people weren't getting or passing off the correct way. There are so many different responsibilities that Kendall Daniels had last year that are going to change a little bit this year. Having a six foot four, 235 pound safety that still runs a four five forty is a problem. Having Trey Rucker a little bit leaner, a little bit faster. That's a problem for big 12 offenses. Lyric Rawls, getting beast mode in the weight room alongside Justin Kirkland. This is incredible what we're about to watch. The emergence of Gabe Brown as a legitimate contender to keep pushing in that two deep spot. The cornerback room, ultra aggressive. You've got height. You've got speed. You've got different skill sets that we're going to be able to use. You've got guys that can go from safety to corner pretty seamlessly and do so. So it's not just about the depth. It's about the packaging. We have packages this year that we didn't have last year, especially on the defensive side of the ball. We had packages last season that were some extra wrinkles with like a a Gunnar Gundy and an Arlen Bruce, right? But 
We didn't get to see our Therefore, the Arlen Bruce packages never really got to come to light. There was a lot of Gunnar Gundy packages, but we weren't as strong in the red zone as often as we should have been to see those little wrinkles. We know that Hudson Cock has a massive ability outside of his leg and just his athleticism, his size, his ability to understand pursuit angles. That gives him a little extra layer. So the packaging for this Oklahoma State team on defense will be something we've never seen before. Offensively, I think we could see the same thing in regards to why have we never used this? Why have we never seen this? Where did this come from? Arlen Bruce moving on is, is not great, but the emergence of Cam Hurd means that we have a lot more capabilities. Seeing Alan Bowman do very, very well, good signs. Seeing Garrett Rangel dropping dimes that create so much havoc in the defensive backfield that they have to redo plays. This is the deepest team we've likely ever put on a football field. This might have the most amount of NFL linebackers we've ever had. And you could even potentially somewhat throw Obi Zegbo into that mix, right? With the Nick Martin, with the Colin Oliver, with the Justin Wright. This is incredible. Deshaun Brown, I do think this is going to be his season of accolades. Uh, what Obi Zegbo is showing is unreal. You have the veteran leadership of Cody Walterscheid alongside Xavier Ross that's able to disseminate information to some of the younger guys and some of the guys that are pushing. I think Landon Dean has a very high future. I think Iman Oates is going to be somebody that is a force to be reckoned with at some point in time in Stillwater for sure. You're seeing that Aiden Kelly is much more comfortable physically. You have some technique that has kind of come to life. Justin Kirkland is a catalyst down below. Colin Clay, he's an absolute stud that would start on most traditional 4-3 teams. And to top it off, what we're able to do athletically between safety, linebacker, defensive end, is going to allow for so many seamless transitions that opposing quarterbacks are not going to know what they're doing. Because it's not just about the talent, the speed. It's now about deception. Last year, no deception, really. It was understanding your responsibility, trying to dive into the KISS method, right? Keep it simple, stupid. This year is different. The verbal keys and the ways that they can switch off in communication, they've improved dramatically, so much so that sometimes they can perform these things without even having to verbally communicate. That's a step up in maturation process for everybody. The interchangeability of a multitude of these guys is going to cause problems for other teams. So this is the friendly warning slash reminder slash call it what you want to call it. Time to take notice for other Big 12 teams. I love the darling picks, Utah, Arizona, Kansas State. I think it's awesome. I love the fact that here in the Hammer the Over Club, we're getting so many opportunities this year to do just that, Hammer the Over. But this is another one of those opportunities. This might be, again, it's definitely the most creative defense we've ever had. Therefore, it should equal more sacks, more tackles for loss, more picks, more forced fumbles. These are the things that you know we saw in 2011. Very opportunistic. But this is a team that has NFL talent all over the field with that same mentality now. Every player we've had on the show has talked about one thing that has been synonymously passed around through everybody, and that is we have to go take it. The Big 12 title. Getting there is the expectation, the bare bones minimum for everybody on the team, in the roster, and likely in the stands. But this has a this has a different feel. The packaging is crazy. 
utilizing Zane Flores capabilities athletically, whether he's passing the ball or not, is something that we should definitely, definitely see. Right? Some of those Gunner Gundy packages should now shift to Zane Flores. Having Alan Bowman and Garrett Rangel out here dropping dimes all day, every day. This is positive. It's spring. So you don't have a lot to compare it to, right? Because it's your guys going up against your guys. But if there's a comparison between last spring, the spring previous, and this spring, it's not even comparable. There is zero comparison. The veteran leadership is nuts. The communication, the, the ability to rotate seamlessly through a multitude of positions from a multitude of areas on the field, it's going to be absolutely chaotic. So now I tell you, I really thought that a loss to Utah, especially early in the season, was likely. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there. If this is what we're going to see throughout the course of the season, we're going to be able to be pretty vanilla. I know that sounds crazy to even talk about being vanilla against a team who's won almost 30 games in a row and an SEC school that has big-time, power five, D-line, O-line all day, every day. And then another school right up the road that has umpteens of Division One transfers from other powerful schools. So to think that we're going to be talented enough and deep enough not have to show our hand until Utah, if that happens, then I say we do beat Utah because there's no way Utah can prepare and game plan for the wild, wacky craziness that this defense could be. I know. I stuttered. Words are hard for me. I apologize. Hey, boo. Uh, uh, we're going to switch gears a little bit to uh, basketball. The news is in, of course. We've got Lutz. We need to go nuts for Lutz. As the announcement, well, not the announcement, but like the official kickoff for him begins tomorrow. We got to mention LinkedIn, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know that today, any hiring is like, it's a complete high stakes wager, right? It's a crapshoot for your small business. So make sure that you are getting the most out of it. LinkedIn can provide that. It's not just another run of the mill job board. I have a vast network of more than a billion professionals, which makes it the best place for you to get hires. It gives you access to professionals that you can't find anywhere else. And uh, they do all this while making the process super easy and intuitive just for you. It's so easy, in fact, that 86% of small businesses get a qualified candidate within the first 24 hours. LinkedIn knows that you're constantly searching for the right people. And they also know that they are the right place for you to find those people. 2.5 million small businesses use LinkedIn for hiring. You should do the exact same thing. Post your job for free today at linkedin.com slash locked on college. Again, that is linkedin.com slash locked on college, all one word, to post your job for free today. Terms and conditions do apply. As we roll on into basketball, of course, the announcement of Steve Lutz was phenomenal. Expected. It's a big-time deal. This is a very good hire. He builds programs. He's been to three big D1 type of schools, and he's taken all three to the tournament. Right? What he was able to do at AM Corpus Christi was phenomenal. Winning an NCAA tournament, being part of that that beginning Cinderella talk, phenomenal. Then going to Western Kentucky and doing it again, taking them to the tournament. He was able to retain four of their main dudes, and then he was able to build the rest of the roster through the transfer portal. And there's no illusions here. He's a very involved community type of guy, right? The Texas boy, Texas ties. The, the ability to recruit in that area, the ability to counterbalance some of the X's and O's with the athleticism, his ideas behind how to navigate not only his coaching career, but there's different ways that you can get exposure in NIL and help with recruiting. These are all 
in injections that we certainly needed at Oklahoma State. So as Steve Lutz arrives in Stillwater to help restore the rowdy, the crazy, the physical experience that is Gallagher Ibe Arena, hopefully we all can get up for this dude, right? Hopefully we all, as many of us as physically possible, 13,700 plus, can show up to Gallagher Iba tomorrow, 3.30, to welcome in the main man that is now taking over basketball. Another massive thing here is Brendan Garrison is probably staying. Eric Daly Jr., probably staying. Javon Small, probably staying. They know what's possible at Oklahoma State. They've seen 13,000-plus in that arena. They also know that when you get 13,000-plus, you got to win. If you do win, you can keep getting 13,000-plus. And then... You control the home games. You control home court. Steve Lutz was 12-2 and two on his home floor, even when they were kind of, um, you know, navigating through the non-con portion of their schedule last season. 12-2 and two at home. It's not going to happen in the Big 12, right? But if you go 8-8, eight and eight, you're in the dance. If you go 9-8, and eight, Probably in the dance. If you go eight and ten, you still might get in the dance, right? I know numerically, mathematically, we're going to be shifting and all that other fun jazz with the number of games, but you get the point. Get nuts for Steve Lutz because what he is building is already massive. His entrenchment with the community is going to be huge for Oklahoma State. We talk all the time about being afraid to hire a guy that's going to be a one-and-done, a Brad Underwood type. We talk about hiring legacies all the time because they'll ride through thick and thin more often than not. They'll stick around longer more than anybody else more often than not. But Steve Lutz is a different cat. He doesn't want to go to a big city. So is Steve Lutz ever going to get lured away from Stillwater by a USC? No. By a Texas? Probably not. Now, an Alabama type, maybe. But this is precisely what Oklahoma State needed. Steve Lutz was the guy that we got in with basically first, other than Ben McCollum. He's the guy who stayed involved, in contact, and in the running the longest. He's a guy who'd already planned on, potentially, laying down a foundation in Stillwater. I do not think this is a three-year, five-year gone guy. If he is successful, this is a guy that will stay for quite some time. 100%. So, you want to get back to the tournament? We have the players to do it. And we all, we're also hearing there's a big-time transfer that could definitely find their way to Stillwater. NIL, it's pretty much doubled overnight. It's going to have the ability to get closer at least to that milli range. We're going to be able to retain some of the main guys, but not just because of the financials, but also because of Steve Lutz, because of the vision, because of his ability to hold roster retention while also selling something to other people to come in. We don't have the biggest NIL budget. Matter of fact, we have the smallest. This is a step in the right direction to fixing that. People just were not going to get on board to divvying up more money to the Mike Boynton product. Again, no, no shots at Mike. Likely the greatest basketball recruiter that's ever walked on that court. But you got to win. We have the guys to win. We showed that multiple times this season. Steve Lutz is a massive hire here. And he fits everything we're looking for. So, everybody, do what you can, okay? Do what you can to try to show up and rock out Gallagher Ibos so Steve Lutz can see, feel, and envision what success would look like in that arena. The arena that changes people's perceptions of what live sporting events could be, should be, what they should feel like. Gallagher Ibos can get back to that. 
Steve Lutz can be the guy that guides us. So let's continue getting nuts for Lutz, and hopefully everybody can show up and show out tomorrow. I, unfortunately, have some baseball obligations. I will, however, be uh, be making a trip to Stiller at the end of this month. So, any bahoo. But another thing I got to I gotta fly by you guys, and you guys know, you can't fly by anybody if your rig is not up to stuff, up to speed. Speaking of speed, eBay Motors has you covered if that's your if that's your cup of taters, or if you're into style or performance, whatever. The formula for winning championships is provided by eBay Motors. They have everything that you need, whether it's you know exhaust kits, LED lighting kits, the performance stuff, and, and the 122 million parts to choose from. These things are what will keep your ride or die rig always alive. You're going to find precisely what you're looking for with the eBay Guaranteed Fit. That part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, we want you burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need, all the prices you want, it is so easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home those massive Ws. So, keep your ride or die rig alive today at ebaymotors.com. Again, that's ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. eBay guaranteed fit. Only available for U.S. customers. Get rocking and rolling today with the eBay for your motor. <clears throat> Speaking of motors, we've got a lot of them. This defense is sick, right? We talked about it in the first segment. Now we get to talk about the depth. The most beneficial part of having you know, 20 plus returning starters is obviously the, the beneficial side of understanding the play calls, understanding some of the offense. And schematically, if we offensively aren't changing a whole heck ton from last year, then the defense has a pretty good idea when they see certain things and, and certain shifts and cert, certain movements and certain players, certain personnel packages that X, Y, and Z play is likely coming. So again, spring is a little difficult, but another part of that is the veterans that have a little ling lingering injuries or the veterans that don't necessarily need as many reps are giving way to some of the young guys, right? So seeing guys like Jalen Pope and Cameron Hurd and, you know, uh, uh, oh, Dagnab, but Mason Gilkey, seeing these guys continue to get more opportunities is huge. Kill Cabinus looks good. Mikey Andrews is going to be an issue at some point in time. Dewan Lofton from Virginia Tech. That's another guy that falls in the same line as, as Cameron Hurd. Or, again, the, the Arlen Bruce style of abilities. So now that we have all this veteran leadership, it is allowing the younger guys way more snaps than ever, maybe not ever before. I can't say that. But at least recent memory, the last few years at least, we've had to lean on some of the upperclassmen, some of the, the All-Americans, right? This year's going to be a little bit different because of all the continuity that's already, already there. So again, Gabe Brown getting more opportunities is huge. Jeff Robertson getting more opportunities, it's absolutely massive for the development of this defense. So when I talk about the too deep being too deep, that means it needs to be deep enough to take us to and through the trophy presentation in Arlington. We did not have the same talent nor depth across the board last year's Texas. That's fair to say. It is what it is. By the time we got to the Big 12 title game, I mean, we weren't like running around with a bunch of insane injuries, but we had a lot of nicks and bruises. We had a lot of guys dinged up. And now you've got Ollie Gordon taking the very first play from scrimmage all the way to the house, which allows him to do what? Give way for A.J. Green and Ceci Velaje to do more. A.J. Green's taking advantage of it. This Thunder Lightning package is, I think, something that a lot of us thought we'd see last year with Jaden Nixon, but we didn't. We didn't at all. And A.J. Green fits that mold plus some. Because, again, 
He's a kick returner, punt returner specialist too. Getting him an open field is worth the price of admission. Ollie Gordon knows it too. So when Ollie Gordon gets a touch, takes it all the way down to the house, now he knows it's A.J. Green's turn to do something. And he expects A.J. Green to do something because he showed up ready to rock and roll, and he's been massively productive from the get-go. Uh, matter of fact, uh, somebody sent me something. So when I prepped the show, <clears throat> I caught, uh, I think it was Marshall Scott. He did a, a five best quotes from, from Gundy on pistols firing. You got to go read it, right? Because he's pretty spot on, which tells me he was a practice, which tells me the validity of this defense being the best in the Big 12, at least from the safety and linebacker positions, are going to speak volumes. But they're also going to show that Oklahoma State's prepared to do more than just go to Arlington this season because of the depth, and not just the depth, but the amount of reps that the depth is getting. Part of that is Isaiah Glass, right? I think Isaiah Glass is definitely good enough to push Jake Springfield for that job, right? I mean, it should be Jake's job. It is Jake's job. But Isaiah Glass is that good. Dalton Cooper is that good. The emergence of... Uh, of uh, Dean and Dean is phenomenal. You're seeing some more underclassmen from the offensive line do more. You're seeing some more reps across the board for the young guys. So our special teams this year should be absolutely dangerous. Mike Gundy should be licking his chops because if you've got a bunch of Donovan Stevens and Gabe Browns, you're going to produce. Guys that are fringe starters right here, right now, that are likely starters on a decent number of other Big 12 teams, those are now our guys on special teams. Those are now our guys also helping prepare with scout team. Zane Flores might be the, the scout team MVP already. He was part of the scout team MVPs just of um, respect level last year. This year's no different, but he's bigger, stronger, faster. He understands things a little bit more. This year's going to be wild. So everybody out there, go check out Pokes with a Purpose because they're doing a giveaway for season tickets, and they've got other different uh, packages and things of that nature involved as well. But this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go watch a team that will have a defense you've never seen before. To go watch a team that has a legitimate, bona fide, certified Heisman candidate that has seven returning power four starting offensive linemen that has two guys on the defensive line that could outlift most NFL dudes. This is a rare roster. This is a rare opportunity. This is a rare season. Nonetheless, a season of capitalization. This team is too good and now too deep with quality reps at the depth to have any massive drop-off. This is the year to show that we're that good. I think we are. It looks like we are that way. It looks like what we're doing, some of which has never been done before, or it has been done, if it has been done before, it's been at lower levels where it's not so prevalent. This is worth season tickets. This is worth prices of admission. And it'll be worth it for you all to hop on the live show tonight because I have a special giveaway style announcement uh, this evening. So hopefully you guys can stop by for that. Until then, that's all we're going to have for this one right here. As always, you know I love you. God bless. Go Pokes. Thank you for tuning in to make this your first listen here in Locked On, Oklahoma State. You could be anywhere. So happy you choose to be here. Hit the like button if you like it. Dislike it if you don't, because that's fine too. Share, comment, subscribe. Those are huge. My podcast and people out there, you know you drive the bus. You drive the thunder. Go do what you do. Leave a review. Hit the stars. All right. Later, taters.